Frank Gruber here in Tampa at Startup Week. I'm here with Gary V. He's the author of several popular books, including his most recent one, Crushing It. And he's going to share some insights about the state of entrepreneurship. Super excited <laughs> to have you here. Thanks for having me, Frank. So I love this man so much. <laughs> I just want to put it on film so nobody's confused. I've known him for a very long time. And I love you and I'm proud Thank of you. you. So Thank you. You want me to give you my two cents yeah, on that? Yeah, state of entrepreneurship. Look, I think it's a very weird moment for entrepreneurship because it's rock star status, right? Like everybody wants to be one. At, and uh, for somebody like me who's only been that his whole life and was you know, clowned on as a kid because I got bad grades but I was making money, it's almost this bizarro world of like how did being a businesswoman or a businessman become so cool? So the state is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's very cool, but that also means there's a lot of fake entrepreneurs in the system. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that we have to be careful. The thing I would say is like, look, self-awareness matters. Not being an entrepreneur, not being a professor, not being an actress, not being an athlete. It's about self-awareness. And so I would say it's never been better to be an entrepreneur. At the same token, it's a, a very scary time for me because I think a lot of people are gonna fail. Right because they lack that self-awareness and uh, I highly recommend people auditing themselves. You don't have to be an entrepreneur, but if you are, yeah. go for it. This is your time. Okay, just a quick follow-up. What's the best way to self-audit Because if you don't have that, that kind of sense? So first of all, if you never sold anything and never had a business at in the first 18 years of your life and all of a sudden you think it's cool to be an entrepreneur on Instagram, you're probably in trouble. Right. Two, go for it. Right. But don't, don't go into huge debt, don't mm -hmm. lose a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Go try, mm -hmm. try, mm -hmm. um, but don't force it. I see a lot of people on their fifth, sixth businesses emailing me, right. uh, hitting me up on DM, and, uh, and I'm like, have you ever thought about being a number three? Have you ever thought about being a number seven? Right. The number 13 at Facebook did a lot better than the number one at Facebook. <laughs> and, uh, and I think that's something important to keep in mind. Very good point. Okay, so you, in your, your latest book, Crushing It, yeah. it's been about 10 years, right? Since, yeah, since, crush, years since, since crush, crush It. Yep. So obviously a lot has changed, but there's a lot of things that have stayed the same. And I yeah. just want to understand, like from your perspective, what still matters? Uh, the quality of the content. You know, like, it doesn't matter if you're doing it on Viddler right. or on YouTube, <laughs> if you, <laughs> I knew you'd like that, or on Plurk, remember that one yeah, for five yeah, seconds, yeah. or on Twitter, yep. or on MySpace or on Facebook, mm -hmm. or on um, podcast or, or, or Medium or your own blog. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you have to make quality content, and quality is subjective. Right. The thing that's still the same is people mistaken and think they're the judge and jury of quality. Mm -hmm. Quality is in the eye of the beholder, right. but it has to be quality to a big enough audience so that you actually have a business. Right. Um, and, uh, and so that still matters. Right. The other thing that still matters is you have to work your face off. <laughs> you know, there's no magic formula. Right. Uh, the thing that still matters is the phone yeah. is the Trojan horse. I think nine years later people understand that. Mm -hmm. Whereas nine years ago was a little right. murky. Right. Um, so those things really stand out to me. Okay. okay, and so if you had to boil down Crushing crushing It, the yeah. new book, into like one Something kind of, yeah, just one final thought like about what you yeah. want people to take away from it. Can you just share that? This internet thing is a big deal. <laughs> we are all, including all these fancy smart people, under underestimating it, including me. We are underestimating it. It's why I wrote it again. Mm -hmm. I wrote it again because I realized, oh my God, I'm not squeezing it for all it's worth. How could anybody else do when this is my obsession? So the internet's a big deal. It is the middleman. That is distribution. And we all have a shot. The cost of entry is remarkably all-time low. There is no judge and jury to pick you. There is no overwhelming cost. This is ridiculous. Uh, take advantage of it. And figure out how you communicate. Are you good at written word? Are you good at audio? Are you good at video? Uh, and then make content that's contextual. So it, the, the punchline is, it's a ridiculous time to be alive and you should really go for it because we have it so much better than your grandparents. <laughs> Great, I'm here with Gary Vee at Tampa Startup Week. Thanks so much, Gary. Thank you.